Thank you, Father. Thank you, fruitful God. Glorious God. Excellent. We bow before you, Lord. We bow before you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. We adore you. We magnify you. We exalt you, we bless your holy name. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for what you will be doing for us again. The Bible says, blessed is he that you caused to approach you. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you and thank you. We slept last night. We are awake today because you have sustained us. Lord, we bless your holy name. Oh, Lord, forever you are a good God. You are a good God. You walk us from day one of this month to this very day. Lord, we bless you. We bless you, Lord. You have made every day to be profitable for you, to us. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We exalt you. We lift your name high. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the brethren that are joining right now. Thank you, Lord, for also extend the same grace that we have enjoyed. Thank you for waking them up. Thank you for waking them up. We bless your holy name. We exalt you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Lord, receive praise. Receive adoration. Receive praise. You waken it our ear morning by morning. Thank you for those brethren who are coming on. Lord, we bless you. We appreciate you. We glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sister Lillian and others are joining right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For Miriam, Lord, God bless you. Oh, Sister Lizzie, Yogo, God bless you, God bless you, wherever you are tuning in from. We bless you, Lord. It is a good thing to know that the hand of God has also woken you up this morning. We bless the name of the Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. The lifter of our head. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Betty Karuki, you are most welcome. God bless you. Good to know that the hand of God has been extended to you. No one can see a day except the Lord handed it over to him. We bless you, Brother Joseph. God bless you. 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 Wherever you are tuning in, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning. We appreciate you, Lord. We give you thanks for bringing us into this glorious day. Even as we commence this service, this um, morning glory, it is a service. Amen. And God will service our life. Amen. God will service your destiny. Amen. God will service our destiny. Amen. God will instruct us. Amen. We have brought ourselves like a car, a broken car brought to garage. Mm. And the mechanic fix it. Yes, Lord. Because he knows the technical how. Amen. We have come this morning, Lord, that our maker may service us. Amen. We have come this morning to appreciate his previous services. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you Father, thank you. Thank Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you for helping us to walk through this truth. Amen. Thank you for helping us to survive in this time. Amen. Thank you to actually giving us the power yes, to still be alive. Yes, in a time where people are buried on daily basis. Oh, on daily basis. Yes. In some nations, yes, every, few, every, every hour there are yes, people buried. Yes, Lord. But Lord, you have given us life. You Amen. are the author of life. You have locked the gate of hell Amen. against the death that we are signed for our life. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. Amen. We bless your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Right now, we are going to go ahead and say, Lord, we commit other brethren who will be joining us. We commit them into your hand. We ask you to wake them up. Amen. The, the sleep of death be clear off. Amen. Because a man must seek his maker at the early hour of his day. Let's go ahead and commit them in a minute. Father, Lord, we commit other brethren. Every technical hitch, we command it and we remove it out of the way. And we decree that everyone, that their destiny are connected to this earth, be online right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Right now, we'll be committing our day into the hand of God. You know, one of the best ways to live is to acknowledge God in all our ways. Amen. So let's commit today, Wednesday, into the hand of God. Yes, and say, Lord, guide our fear. Help Amen. us to guide our fear with discretion. Amen. Let our going now be blessed. Yes, Let our coming in be blessed. Yes. Shield us from yes. every arrow yes. of the wicked. Yes. Every agent of death. We have no portion with you. Go ahead and pray. Father, we commit our days into your hand. We ask that the Almighty God, you will keep us. You will help us to keep our path today. You will help us to guide our fear with discretion today. We will be at the right place at the right time for the right blessing of God. No evil shall befall us. No evil shall befall us. No plague shall come near our dwelling. <laughs> we build a wall of fire around us, around our neighbors around your people, O oh Lord. We decree, O oh Lord, that today is a day of blessing because that is what you have made it. You say, this is the day that you have made. We rejoice to be glad in it. Father, joy will locate me today. Gladness will locate me today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have no portion with sorrow. I have no portion with regret. My going out is blessed. My coming is blessed. I commit all our brethren globally into your hand. Every BCI member, your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. The angel of the Lord will go before you and shield you before every arrows of the wicked. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We want to commit our children into your hand. All over the world, the education is uh, the educational program has been twanted. It has been affected. Amen. Want to say, Lord, rearrange it, Amen. restore it, Amen. give everyone in authority in this area, give them wisdom Amen. on how to manage the crisis. Amen. It will not affect their destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. let's commit our children and the educational program. Amen. Father, Lord, we commit all our children into Your hand and their education. You have saved them, O Lord. Father, Lord, not, let not this interruption of coronavirus, let it not affect their destiny. Let it not alter your plan and purpose and your purpose for their life. We commit them into your hand. Even as those who are able are studying at home, Father, Lord, help them to understand their teacher. Help them to understand their teacher. Help them to understand their teacher. Those who are in rural area, who have no asset, O Lord. Father, Help them, O Lord. You are the present help in time of trouble. Your hand is not short. Let this not affect their destiny. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Right now, we are going to pray for everyone that is down physically, health-wise, anywhere. I was listening to a testimony of a man yesterday, how a nurse was praying for, uh, praying for him through the glass. He cannot go in because of how, how, how bad his situation was. But the nurse was praying through the glass. We'll be praying and say, Father, Lord, let your healing balm 
let it hit everyone that is down by coronavirus, no matter their location. This sun is not a barrier to your power. Let's go ahead and commit them, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we commit everyone, everyone in Africa, in America, wherever they are, that are down by this demon called coronavirus. We lose your claw. We lose your grip over their head. We lose their grip, your grip over their head. Oh, you foul spirit, we rebuke you in the name of the Lord. We lose the people under your terror right now. We lose the people under your terror. We set them free. We set them free. In the name of Jesus, we set them free. We set them free. We set them free. They didn't bargain for it. Lord, you are the present help in time of trouble. Lord, let your healing, healing hands, let you begin to lay their bed. Let you begin to lay their bed. You say you will lay their bed in sickness. As many that are covenant child who partner with you in offering, in tithe. That's what you said. You say you will lay their bed in sickness. You can't lay a bed for Corona to sleep on it. We command their rising right now, right now, right now. And for those who are not saved, Lord, you said all souls are yours. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Have mercy on them, O Lord. Let your mercy heal them. Let your mercy heal them. Let your mercy heal them, O Lord. Let your mercy heal them, O Lord. Even the dog can be a partaker of the bread of the master. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. This morning, we are going to commit all that concerned us. All. He said he will perfect all that concerned us. Many things have been affected, humanly speaking. But when God stepped in, because time never banned God, he make all things to, to happen in his own time. He make all things beautiful in his own time. We are going to commit all our program, church services, business trip you plan, loan you have scheduled, everything that look like they are twanted right now. Commit them to God. The hand of God can correct it. Yes. If coronas can, can shake it, the God can reposition it. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every program that has to do with our destiny, that the enemy is trying to thwart to law, is trying to cause delay, is trying to cause embarrassment. Father, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, because in your word you say you will perfect. Bring every agenda of our life. Bring them to perfection. Bring them to perfection. Bring them to perfection. Perfect my health. Perfect my family. Perfect the ministry. Perfect the life of our children. Oh Lord, everything that we have programmed and scheduled that the enemy want to twant, Father Lord, we say, Lord, bring them to perfection. Bring them to perfection. Bring them to perfection. Them to perfection. Because your word says, all things work together for good to them that love God. Father Lord, use the, this time. Use the, uh, 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 use the attacks of the devil. Use the intruder. Use the, 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 the distraction of Satan. Use it as a stepping stone for our rising. Use it as a stepping stone for our rising. Use it as a stepping stone for our rising. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call on you, O God. We call on you, O God. He krasu kleke keto krepa lega to kredu zada. Me koroso plege ya to kredu zada. Me ro kable gozi gada kretula. E ya keto zege do kredu zala ge ya keto. Ma ke pagarado skeleto brezida la ba ba da ba 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 ba. You say all things work together for good to them that love Him. Father Lord, we pray that all things will work together for our good, O Lord. Including the interruption of coronavirus, it will work for our good, O Lord. He meant it for evil. The devil brought it on the planet out for evil. But Father Lord, turn all his activity to favor us, O Lord. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Finally, we are going to pray that everyone, God will open their eyes. God will open our eyes. That we will see the merits 
that is in this situation. Already a man in Ghana has, has created a, a, sanitize, a, a sanitizer machine that can actually sprinkle the whole body. He's an engineer. People, that people will begin to see the merit. Because the Bible says, God has his way in the wild wind, in the storm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right now we are going to go before the Lord. I will pray to God and say, God, open our eyes. As Haggai was crying in the wilderness, there was a river somewhere. Whatever coronavirus has finished, business that coronavirus has finished, just like the water Abraham gave to Haggai, God finished. And God opened our eyes. Whatever business that coronavirus has finished, whatever program of any man that coronavirus look like has altered it and wrecked it down, Father Lord, open our eyes to see your own way. Open our eyes to see the river. The river is better than the water, a water in the bottle. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever it look like have been badly affected by the by the effect of the coronavirus, Father Lord, open our eyes. Open our eyes. Open the eyes of our understanding. Cause us to see your way in the midst of this storm. Cause us to see your way in this storm, O oh Lord. There is a merit. There is a merit. There is a merit. There is a merit. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Capra Zigayato, Le Grado, Zegayato, Brelu Gaya Keto, Ake Rosso Copa Le Gaya Ganababa. There is a merit. There is a merit. There is a merit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, cause my eyes to see the merit. Cause my eyes to see the, the merit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. As a child of God, God said, when men are saying there is a cast down, we'll be saying there is a lifting. That means we will not be seeing the same. We will not be feeling the same. We will not hold the same perspective. We are going to pray that, Lord, every other Israelite, in 4 Samuel chapter 17, every other Israelite saw death. See their de they saw their death in Goliath. But David saw his rising. And he rose. Father Lord, we are not going to be a victim of these challenges of life. We are not going to be a victim of any other challenges of life, whether health. But Father, it will be our rising. David rose by the presence of Goliath. Our own Goliath will not send us to early grave. We will rise by it. I want you to pray for yourself. Our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, let me see the merit. Let me see the merit. The challenge of the hour will not bury my destiny. The challenge of the hour will not bury my destiny. Will not swallow my ministry. The challenge of the hour will not bury my children. Father, I see elevation. I see rising. I see rising. Every other challenges of life, you will not bury my destiny. You will redefine my destiny. You will refine my destiny. Oh, you will reveal me to my world. I will be among them that will lift up the banner of victory. Thank you, faithful Father. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And this morning, I want you to pray because I'll be praying for you in the next few minutes. Uh, pre present your desire. And then I will round it up. Whatever you want God to do for you. We want to do exactly what Hannah did. In the midst of a congregational prayer, Hannah stepped aside and communicated her heart to her God. The Bible says no one was actually hearing her voice, but God heard and God responded. As I will be rounding up that session for you, I want you to go ahead and commit your way into the hand of God. Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness. I commit my life, I commit my relationship with you. I ask you to strengthen my relationship. Lord, where I'm weak, make me stronger. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may understand the depth of your calling over my life. Grant me more grace to serve your people. Grant me more grace to serve your people. Increase my anointing. Increase my understanding. Lord, I want to thank you for the way you have been speaking to me of late. Father, Lord, open my ear to hear your voice. Open my ear to hear your voice. 
Father, Lord, as a leader of this great commission, Father, Lord, let me lead your people aright. Let me lead your people aright. Let me lead your people aright, O oh Lord. Jesus said, the one you have given me, I have lost none. I forbid untimely death in the ministry. I forbid stagnation. I forbid stagnation. I forbid stagnation. I forbid stagnation. The Bible said the people that appear before the Lord, Lord, every time your people appear before you, let them go from strength to strength. Make this ministry a mountain of solution, O oh Lord. These are my heart desire, Lord. Prosper your people, Lord. Prosper your people, Lord. Prosper your people, Lord. Confirm the word we teach them with signs and wonder. Confirm the word, your word in my mouth, in the life of your people with signs and wonder. The Bible says you made your way known to Moses and your act unto the children of Israel. Lord, transform every life. Lift them from one glory to glory, Lord. Their success is my success. Therefore, I pray for the success of everyone that you have assigned me to. Everyone you have caused me to speak to, Lord, let them go up. Let them go up. No one come to this ministry and go down. It is a place of restoration. No losses in their life. Law is a place of deliverance. You said these are people raw and a snare in prison houses. Everyone that come to this place, Lord, bring them out of prison houses, O Lord. Like break them from all the oppression that may have been following them. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Right now, I'm going to pray for you, Heavenly Father. Just like, um, just like God answer Hannah. May the Lord answer your prayer. Amen. Everything you have presented to him, may he answer you. Amen. And give you a speedy, a speedy, a speedy delivery Amen. of your request. Amen. The Bible says, as soon as they went back, the Bible says, Hannah conceived. God remember. Amen. The prayer you are praying at this early hour of today, may God remember you. Amen. May he answer you. Amen. May he give you a testimony. Amen. He said, I have not asked the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. Yes, you're coming online, or you're coming on e this e service this morning. Yes, but a new experience in your life. Amen. But a new experience in your life. Amen. But a new experience in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I decree the angel of this commission. Whatever brought you online, whatever caused you to watch me today, therefore, he has privileged me to lead this ministry. Yes, Lord. And Lord, he has given us, he said, he will wake up my ear morning by morning to know how to speak to them that are weary. Everything that is dying in your life, I command restoration. I command restoration. I'm an apostle of restoration. I command restoration. I command restoration. I command good news. Amen. I command good news. Amen. Everything that has kept you in the whole of life, come out now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. After this brokers, I decree help will arise for you. Amen. It will come from the north. Amen. It will come from the west. Amen. It will come from the south. Amen. It will come from the east. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you must have a testimony to buttress your attendance of this service today. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's take other prayer, one or two, and then uh, we get into the word. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll be going ahead this morning to pray together as we read from the book of Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 10. Isaiah 62 verse 10. He said, go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. When God prepares your way, one of the things he does for us, he gathers out all the stones. All the stones, obstacles. We'll be asking the Lord that Father, had not, clear my destiny path, gather out the stones that will impede my speed. 
Father, clear my destiny. Lord, path. clear Guide my destiny. Clear the path of my oh, destiny. Yes, Jesus. Clear the path of, of my destiny. destiny. Gather Remove out every stones. stone. Gather them together. Stone of oh, character. Lord, stone. stone of love. Gather out the stone, stone of, of weakness of the body. Oh God. Stone of hell. Makapa legaya talaradaba baba yagada bara talababo shalaba. My path covenantly is a path that shall brighter and brighter. Remove all the stones. Remove all the stones. Stone in form of human being. Stone in form of institution. Oh Lord, clear up, clear up, clear up every stone of my life. Clear up every stone. Stone, stone of generational causes. Clear it up, O Lord. Clear it up, O Lord. Clear it up, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. When God clears the stones, divine speed becomes mm. our testimony. Yes, 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 We're going yes. ahead according to Genesis 27 and verse 20. Mm. It says, And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my mm. son? Mm. And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Oh, Lord. I know there is something you are believing God for this mm -hmm. week. You'll be saying, Oh, Lord, grant me good speed in all my pursuit. Grant me good speed in all my pursuit this week. Let's go Father, ahead Father, in the name of Lord, Jesus grant Christ, grant me good speed. Grant me God, uh, good, good, speed. Speed good speed in all my pursuit. speed in all my pursuit today and throughout this delay. week and throughout oh, this Lord, month. Grant, grant me, O oh Lord, in the name grant of Jesus Christ. Speed. Whatever grant me, oh Lord, I'm looking for, in Father, the name bring it of quickly. Jesus Christ. Bring it grant quickly. me, Lord, good speed. Let me find good speed. what I'll be looking for. Good today speed. Whatever my business. life, my destiny oh, needs, cause me men to bring it my way. Cause institutions to bring oh, it my yes, way. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I am that I am. Hallelujah, Thank Jesus. you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive praise and adoration yes, Lord. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Whatever your destiny requires, whatever you need to advance towards your destination in life. Yes, amen. God will bring it to you quickly. Amen. He said, the Lord has brought it to me. Yes, Jesus. God's speed, I bid it to you in amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bid you God's speed this morning. Amen. Whatever your destiny need, yes. the destiny of your business, amen. the destiny of your children, amen. the destiny of your marriage, amen. the next phase of your life, oh, God, we hasten it to come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and give thanks to God for answering our prayer. Father Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We glorify you, Lord. Come on, give him thanks at home. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thanksgiving, hasten our answer to our prayer. Father, we thank you. We know you are the one that hear our prayer. We know you have heard us already. Thank you, faithful Father. Receive praise and adoration. In Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. I say in Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a glorious day. What a time of prayer. <laughs> I was, uh, as I was meditating before the Lord, the early hour of today, I came to realize it is a total error for a child of God not to have devotion in the morning. It is a great, great error. How do you make yourself an intruder in your father's program? The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. And we should rejoice and be glad in it. But unfortunately, out of ignorance, out of laziness, out of the scheme of the devil, many don't have a devotion in the morning. In other words, they don't have an appointment with God. Now, when you understand how uh, government offices work, the higher the office, the less access people have to it. So what do they do? For example, you can walk to the public place and hotel and just walk around and nobody stop you. 
But to go to a president office or a governor's office, you have to book appointment. And therefore, when your appointment is honored, the governor, the man in high authority, is expecting you. God is the most high God. And many of us, we come into his program without an appointment with him. A devotion, as God showed me this morning, is a time for believer to keep appointment with the maker of the day. That's why he said, they that seek me early will find me. Those who book appointment with me at the early morning, they will find me in the afternoon. It is my prayer from today. It may not be your culture. It may not be your nature. But you can begin to develop the attitude. Attitude are cultivated. I discovered the Hindu wake up in the morning. The Muslim wake up in the morning. The Christian also are expected to wake up in the morning. So if you are the type who don't wake in the morning to seek the face of your God, then something is wrong with you. Maybe that is the reason you are always with leftover. Because others have picked appointment. They have picked many goodies in the morning, including the idol worshiper. They consult their God early morning. The Muganga is calling on his demon right now. Why won't we call on our God? Praise God. I said, praise God. So I want to encourage you that uh, always keep appointment with God. God said to Moses, rise up early and go to the river. All patriarchs of faith are early riser. Abraham rose up early in the morning. Early in the morning. So I want us to begin to uh, develop this attitude. It may not be part of us. You may not even know the importance. But now you have heard from me. From now onward, wake up early in the morning, connect with us. And even on the day that we don't have, that is an opportunity for you to practice one on your own. On your own. He say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So on Tuesday and on Thursday and Saturday, you, you try and do and do your own devotion on your own. And then through that, you gain mastery and commit it to other people that come in contact with you. And God will bless you and show you his mercy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I would like to exhort us this morning on a subject I captioned, uh, created for the top. You are created for the top. I am created for the top. I am created for the top. In Deuteronomy, the Bible says, you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be the head and not the tail. I want you to know you are created for the top. You are created for the top. It doesn't matter where you are now. Whether you are at the bottom of life, there is something about uh, knowledge as I've learned over the years. You see, knowledge doesn't speak what you want to hear. No. Whether you are at the top, that does not remove the fact that you are created for the top. Whether you are in the middle, whether you are an average person, maybe you are even on top. I want you to know you can't exhaust the top of God. Hallelujah. He said the part of a just man is like a shiny light, shining brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. So even if you're on the top, there is still a top that you have not ascended to. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I see every one of us believing in this world this morning Amen. and begin to pack our bags and baggages from the bottom of life Amen. and begin to journey to where we belong. Amen. Don't let anything cheated, uh, cheated you. Yes. Don't let anything cheat you. Amen. Maybe your parents were poor. Maybe they were beggar. It doesn't matter. You are created for the top. Amen. It doesn't matter the circumstances that surround your bar. Maybe you were born in a manger. That was the mentality of Jesus. He was born in a manger. But he knew he was created for the top. Amen. The last supper, he ate it in an upper room. Amen. The Bible said there was no room for him. So where you are does not supposed to define you. It is who you are who should define you. And I'm telling you this morning that you are created for the top. Amen. You may be wearing rag. <laughs> you may even be on the streets. And you are hearing me by coincidence. 
I want, it may even be on the sick bed, but I want you to know you are still created for the top. The circumstances, does, your, our circumstances does not change the purpose of God. Our circumstances never change the purpose of God. At all. At all. And look at the life of Solomon. He was born out of illegitimate marriage. But still, God still made him to be on the top. You are created for the top. And we say it over and over until it hits you. And you begin to pack your bags and baggages and set yourself on a new journey. I want you to say after me, I am created for the top. I am created for the top. Say it louder. I am created for the top. Well, let's look at scripture. It is scripture that points to the future for us. It is scripture that confirms what our future holds for us. Now let's look at Matthew chapter 5. A quick one. Matthew chapter 5, and I read from verse 14. I want to dwell on those uh, particular one for the sake of our time. It says, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. He said, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give a light unto all that are in the house. It doesn't matter the level of darkness surrounding you right now. This is what God said about you. Let God be true and all men be liar. Let God be true and all situations be a liar. He said, you are the light of the world. <laughs> and you are in the village there. But that doesn't change the mind of God. He can't lie. He said, you are the light of the world. And it went further. A city that is set on the hills. And it cannot be hid. And he went further. He said, well, in case you don't believe that, I make you. I am the one who have made you. He said, ordinary men, when they light a candle, they put it on top of the bushel. So that it can give light to all. It can give light to what? To all, not to some, not to yourself. You are created for the top. Amen. The world is waiting for you. Amen. You have influence over the whole world. Amen. There is something about you that can illuminate the whole world. Amen. Forget about your location. Amen. You may not have a voice where you are, but that does not stop what God has proposed for you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said, praise God. Hallelujah. It didn't stop God. You are still who God says you are. Like, like, like when you look at a small baby, a small girl sometimes, uh, when I see a baby, uh, a small baby girl, maybe about two months or three months old, I look at the baby in the hand of the carrier. And sometimes I have, I ask myself a question. So this girl, this baby girl, one day will be pregnant. She looks small, but the potential is already there. The ability is already there. Praise God. And one day, uh, like I've seen several, uh, after some time, 30 years down the line, you meet the same girl, and they, I've met one like that and introduced. I used to carry her when I was in uh, 83, 1983, 82 when I was in secondary school. And uh, I remember I, I'm the one normally kind of babysit this girl. So I was a very small girl. But now it's a pastor's wife in Ghana. And the other day I was looking at her. So this girl, while I was carrying her, and it could do anything on her body, we, we, or urinate, she has ability to become a mother. I want you to begin to pack your bags and baggages. And tell Satan, I am not meant for the bottom of life. Amen. I am not. Amen. I am meant for the top. Amen. I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said, praise God. Hallelujah. Now listen. 
It is also good to know that whom God has made you does not stop Satan from attempting you. This does not stop him. That's why the Bible says in the book of Psalm 74 and verse 20, it says, have respect unto the covenant because the whole earth is full of cruelty. Between where you are now and, your, and the top God created you, that gap, the Bible says, is full of habitation of cruelty. There are evil forces, evil forces on the way. There are evil, there are lions of life. They are an agent of the devil between where you are and the high places, the top that God has for you. And that is how it is for everyone. That's why David said, he teached my hand to fight. He teached my hand to fight. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have fought. You cannot get to your top by smiling 24-7. <laughs> the devil won't allow you. His mission on earth is to disallow you. So here you are, you are created for the top. There is no doubt about that. The scripture uh, I have confirmed that. But also Psalm 74 says, between where you are now and the top that God has for you, the top seat, there, it is a habitation of cruelty. It is a habitation of cruelty. So, how do you get to your top? With all this evil, conspiracy, evils of life. This, this is so bad that you don't even need to fight people before they fight you. They come naturally because that is their own ministry. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. That's why you discover that there is no position you are that people don't criticize you. If you are dark, they will say you are a charcoal. If you are brown, they will say you are from the water or in, in West Africa, they say you are, you are a spirit. If you are tall, they say you are too tall. If you are short, they say you are too short. There is no way you stand that you don't have a critics. In fact, stop rejoicing that nobody is criticizing you. It's because you don't have a strong position. Everyone that have a strong destiny, a strong position, must have an opposition. If nobody is talking about you, I perceive that uh, you are so useless. So rejoice. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said praise God. Hallelujah. Now, but the Bible says something in Psalm, the book of Psalm. Let's quickly look at Psalm uh, 18. The book of Psalm, Psalm 18, and I will read from verse 29. Psalms 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is a good God. Amen. I say our God is a good God. Amen. He will beautify you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalm 18. And I read from verse 29. He said, for by thee I have run through a troop. And by my God, I have leaped over the wall. <laughs> I have run through a troop. A troop is a group of soldiers being led by a captain. David said, I have run through a troop. I have leaped over the wall. There are wars of life. <laughs> there are troops of life. Coronavirus is a troop. I mean, that is a troop. Mm. Fighting with many soldiers. He's the captain. Mm. But David said, For I have run by through. Mm. By my God, I have run through a troop. Mm. And by my God, I have leaped over the wall. <laughs> now, let's jump a bit. He said, It is God that guided me with strength and maketh my way perfect. 
It is God that guided me with strength and make my way perfect. Verse 33 is where I'm dwelling. He said, He maketh my feet like hinds feet and set me upon my high places. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and set me upon my high places. He designed my feet and then put me on top of on, on top of on the top that I belong. My high places, your high places is the top of God. Now I want us to quickly see something in Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3, and I will read from verse 17, a quick one. He said, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. And the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herds in the store. He said, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places. He said to the chief singers on my strings, instrument. Praise God. Now this scripture is repeated, you can see twice. Now, listen to this. The man said, I may have all the negativity in the world. I may be confronted with all circumstances, the cruelty in the world. That's why you plant a fig tree and it's not blossoming. There is no fruit in the vine. He said, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And when I joy in God, he said, the Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like the hinds feet. Now, in the book of Psalm, where we, we are coming from, he says, he has made my feet like the hinds feet. And therefore, I will walk in my high places. So there is a high places for everyone. But we, not all of us, are there yet. In between us and the high places is cruelty, challenges of life, difficulties of different shape, depending on the kind of destiny you have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. <laughs> but look at it. He said, it will make my feet like the hinds feet. So, God makes you to be able to run through the troops. He make your feet. He design your feet to be able to walk through the troop and leap over the wall. So the adversity are for our advancement when our feet are made. God begin to convert them as a stepping stone to your miracle. Praise the Lord. Now, what is, what is specific about hind's feet? I will mention three things for you. Hind's feet is very swift. Swift is dynamic. Number two is firm. Number three, he's steady. Hind's, hind's is the only one that can walk in the rough part of life. Those rocky, rocky places, of, of rocky terrain. It's, that's where that's why he's using Hain. Hain can walk there because he's swift, and at the same time, his his feet are firm. And on the mountain, and at the same time, look at something about Hain feet. At the same time, he's steady. And these are the three things we require in life: ability to walk on the rough road swiftly, firmly. And steadily. And that's what God make our feet. Now listen to this. How does God make people's feet to be that way? That wherever you go, you prosper. Where other people's contracts are canceled, yours have just been added. And it is continuous. And you are firm. How does God make the feet of a man like the hinds feet and it become firm, steady, and swiftly. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 19. Jesus said to the disciple, Follow me, and I will make you. Anything God wants to mold you to or make you to 
in life, he's going to do it by his word. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you. Follow me. Who is that me? That me is Jesus. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. God's word is swift. God's word is firm. God's word is steady. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when God sends you his word, he's trying to make, on any subject, he's trying to make your feet like a hind's feet. So that you'll be able to walk through the troop swiftly. So this morning, God's word has come to you. God's word has come to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God's word has come to you. Amen. God make people via his word. Via his word. And let me just read one verse before we go. Psalm 18, the same Psalm 18. You will see what it says there. Psalm 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody life is being molded now. Amen. I say somebody life is being molded now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody's life is being molded right now. Amen. So when God wants to make you, he begins to send you his word. The, that's why the Bible says the entrance of his word giveth light. Amen. When you have his word, you'll be firm. You will overcome all the rough road, all the patch road, all the rocky situation of life. Your leg will be firm. Not only firm, you will also discover you are, you are steadily making progress. and not Because the word of God cannot hinder. He will always prevail. And not only that, it will be swiftly. Praise the Lord. Now when you look at verse 30, verse 30, I read from verse 20, uh, verse uh, 30. He said, verse 29, he said, For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over the wall. Now look at it. He said, As for God, his ways is perfect. His way. And Jesus came and introduced himself that I am the way, the truth, and life. So when Jesus said, Follow me, he simply means, Follow the ways of God. He said his ways are perfect. And then he explained the way. He said the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all that what? That trust in him. That trust in him. That trust in him. I want to read Amplify for you before we go. I want to read Amplify for you. He said as for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tested and tried. He says shield to all those who who take refuge and put their trust in him. Now, the cruelty in life, God's war become your refuge. No arrow shot to you. Amen. No evil, no conspiracy Amen. that is fashioned against you will ever prosper. Amen. So you are able to walk from where you are to your high places. Amen. You are walking to your high places. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Imagine a Christian who wake up in the morning and pray. That's the way of the Lord. Commit your way into the hand of the Lord. Acknowledge him in all your way and he will direct your star. God cannot be your director and the devil will stop you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said praise the Lord. So waking up in the morning and pray is, 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 is the way of the Lord. And that becomes a buckler and a shield over your life. Imagine a businessman who tight or a worker who tight or everyone for that matter who earn and tight. There is a book like say, I will rebuke the vora for your sake. Can God be rebuking it and not know where it is? Praise God. Hallelujah. Imagine those who are kind to order, who are kind together. God cannot forget you. In the days of evil, he will remember you. Amen. I remember, in the, I think in the book of Psalm, he said, those who give offerings say he will lay their bed in sickness. Can God lay your bed and coronavirus come and lie on top of it? He will be fried. I welcome you to, uh, to, your, to your high places this morning. I welcome you to the top. You belong to the top. All you need to do, allow God to make your feet like the hinds feet. I pray for you this morning that the mighty hand of God will rest upon you. You will succeed in all that you do. Your going out is blessed. Your coming is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you go, may the Lord go with you. May the word of God make your feet like the hind feet. In Jesus' precious name. In case you are somewhere and you just listen to me and you have yet to know Jesus, I would like to make another call, even though it is a morning glory. God can save you this morning. 
He can start a new life with you. If you want to invite Jesus into your life, just say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I appreciate you, Lord. I've heard your word this morning. I am a sinner and I've come unto you. Forgive me my sin and my trespasses. Give me a new beginning. Write my name in the book of life. Satan, I divorce you today. I'm a child of God. I will live the rest of my life with Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let me also pray for you. Heavenly Father, we bless you this morning. We appreciate you. Thank you for saving that person. <laughs> it might be five years from now. It might be three years that you will watch this telecast. I thank you in anticipation of a new beginning of this great man and woman. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Oh, you are there with your offering. Let me also bless your offering as you get set to worship God. Our worship is not complete without an offering to the Lord. And therefore, lift up that offering. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for those who are worshiping you this morning with their substance. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, your ways are perfect. Try and test it. Every seed put into your hand is multiplied back to the giver. Multiply that seed in Jesus' precious name. Open new door and fresh door in Jesus' precious name. Have a beautiful day. See you and see you on your on the top. I will celebrate today. I will hear your testimony of what this word has made in your life. See you Friday, uh, Friday morning. God bless you. CCM, Kenya time. Hallelujah.